Welcome back to the Undead Basement, everyone. JD here. It is now the Halloween season, and that means it's horror time. And I've got a whole slate of movies ready to go this month, and we're going to start with some good old-fashioned grindhouse trash. And I'm speaking, of course, of the 1982 video nasty classic, Pieces. Filmed in Spain and directed by Juan Piquer Simone and starring genre veterans like Christopher George, his wife Linda Day, and Edmund Perdam, the movie is perhaps the most gratuitous slasher movie ever made. It practically epitomizes the word. Gratuitous violence, gratuitous nudity, gratuitous acting, and most importantly, gratuitous kung fu professors. Taking influence from the Italian horror genre known as giallo, which was essentially proto-slasher movies with cop thriller storylines, the movie is a basic murder mystery. A shadowy figure in that he both dresses in black and also looks like the comic book character The Shadow is stalking and carving up conveniently busty co-eds with a bright yellow chainsaw so that he can take their body parts and rebuild his dead mother, whom he killed as a child. And it's up to a few cops and some random student to take him down. Seriously. Like I said before, this movie is gratuitous in every single way imaginable. The gore on display here was made using animal carcasses and blood from a butcher shop. And not only does it look convincing, they sure use the hell out of it with some great, extremely bloody kills that gorehounds like me are for sure to love. No wonder this movie was released unrated. It's not for the squeamish. Outside of that is the nudity. There's a lot of completely needless scenes of women showing off their um, well-defined assets, and it definitely adds to the sleazy feel of the movie. It feels like you should be watching this in a peep show booth in a back alley on 42nd Street in the early 80s. As for the performances, I sure hope you love Ham. This movie is gloriously overacted. It almost feels like a slasher soap opera at times. Of specific note is Linda Day George with her very Days of Our Lives-like performance, the very British Edmund Perdom, Ian Sarah from Pod People, whom we definitely see a lot of, wink wink, and the always enjoyable B-movie veteran Christopher George in one of his final roles before his untimely death. Also, Bluto from that live-action Popeye movie, if anyone remembers that. Story-wise, it's a sleazy grindhouse movie who gives a damn about the story. This movie is about the sex and violence, plain and simple. It's about cheap thrills. The story is there, but it's not important. Sure, it's a murder mystery, but it's pretty half-assed, and it meanders a lot with a lot of random scenes. Speaking of which, there's a particularly random scene wherein Linda Day George is attacked by a crazed martial artist who turns out to be our male student lead's kung fu professor, who tells her that he attacked her because, and I'm not even kidding here, he ate bad chop suey. I give context for why that scene is in there, but it still wouldn't make any sense. Ultimately though, none of that matters. The story, nor the issues with it, do not matter. Movies like these are not made for the story. The movie's appeal lies in, as I said before, it's sex, violence, and cheesy performances, and it is great trashy fun. If you're in the mood for a good splatter fest this Halloween, here's the movie that proves that you don't need to go to Texas for a chainsaw massacre. I say as a native Texan. As to the best way to watch this movie, your best bet is this 2016 Blu-ray release from Grindhouse Releasing. The picture quality is really good. There's a lot of great special features, including an interview with Juan himself. Uh, it even comes with a soundtrack which, definitely nifty, but I don't listen to it. Um, it also comes with the original Spanish version of the movie, which I haven't watched yet. I don't know exactly how it compares to the English version. If anybody can tell me in the comments, please tell me how different it is. That is all the time we have for today. This has been Undead Basement Video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I'm JD, and I will see you next time.